Mallory Wright and I'm a student in the Physical Science 303 class and this is my reflection paper number two. In what ways has your confidence as a science learner and teacher changed? Um, my answer to that question is um, I've definitely gained a lot of confidence. Um, when I first started as um, a student in this class, even this semester, um, I was really worried. I was really um, nervous because I've always liked science. I've done science um, all my life. My mother always signed me up for Maryland Science Center camps growing up when I was in school. But somewhere along the way, I um, felt a little discouraged by science. I don't know exactly how it happened, but um, somewhere I lost confidence in how well I could deal with science. So um, as a science learner, it's it's not my favorite. It wasn't my favorite thing to learn. Um, but I've really grown to love it because it really does explain naturally um, what goes on the in, in the in the world so it's a really important um, concept for me as a student for me as a teacher to um, understand so my confidence has really um, gone up as learning science because it is just explanation of how the world works so um, as a learner that's how my confidence has improved and as a science teacher um, like I mentioned before, when I started teaching, and even when we walked into Professor Latero's classroom and she told us that we were going to teach science the next week, I was nervous, and most of my classmates were nervous. Um, it wasn't something that I was necessarily looking forward to, even knowing that the semester was science and math. It wasn't something that I was looking forward to, and it wasn't something that I would do well. But I learned with teaching that good teachers are always prepared and I had to learn that I needed to be prepared um, and it's really important to take interest in what is being taught I learned that um, if you really don't if as a teacher I really don't care about the subject my students probably won't care either so it's really important to have a natural curiosity to want to talk about what's being talked about and to discuss it with your students so you can teach them and create enthusiasm in them so that they will want to learn it and hopefully share it with someone else that's important with them. So as a teacher, um, learning my confidence as a science teacher is really important um, and it has really increased over the semester. Question two. In what ways has your ideas on teaching science in elementary school classrooms changed? Be specific. Um, in elementary school classrooms, I don't feel that teaching science is done right. Um, the things that I can recall in an elementary school classroom, when I was learning science, um, one of the most important things is the scientific method. I think that was like the biggest thing. The scientific method, this is exactly how you do this. Um, rather than um, breaking it down into the CER framework that we've learned, um, the clue chart, all of these graphic organizers, um, because um, science was never really taught to me as a student as something um, that you use for problem solving. Um, science really does incorporate so many of the other subjects that we teach the students on a regular basis. And um, I don't feel like that is shown in today's science classrooms. Um, definitely in our science internship, we learned that um, even though science may not, may, even though science may be hands-on and the students may be creating something, it really doesn't mean that they're learning something. Um, so it's really important that there is a lot of thought that goes into preparing science for students. Um, being very intentional about the big idea and the big question. Um, being very intentional about um, how students will um, examine the evidence, how they will investigate evidence, because uh, to make sure that they can answer their big question. Um, all of that is really important and it's very intentional. And I think a lot of the times teachers don't realize that that is very intentional and that really guides what the students will learn. 
So, um, I think that the way that we learn to teach science in an elementary school classroom is probably the best. And especially because we have a lot of fun and we learn from it, um, from the way that we do um, science in our class. I believe that students in elementary school, and definitely shown by our internship, will enjoy the way that we have learned. Um, the CER framework, claim evidence reasoning, um, evidence-based reasoning, the clue chart, um, and making sure that we're very intentional on um, what we're teaching and how we're teaching it as teachers. Um, I believe that that will make a better science classroom for all students. That's all.